part two, how to launch a Black Friday offer the most profitable way. And today we're going to talk about how to promote the offer the most profitable way. Yesterday we talked about how to create the offer the most profitable way. Am I live? Sorry, let me make sure I'm live because I'm doing it from Facebook Live again. And I want to make sure it's not acting up on me. I wanted to make sure you guys see my um, whiteboard. Anyway, so yesterday we talked about, I think I am still live. Yesterday we talked about how to create your Black Friday offer the most profitable way. I mean, there are different ways, but we talked about the most profitable way. And today we're going to talk about how to promote your offer the most profitable way. How to, uh, what to say and how to say it so that we um, build that desire, create that demand, right? And then get people ready and, and. Um, sell more. Tomorrow we're going to talk about how to sell it the most profitable way. Today we're going to talk about what to say, how to say it, how to deliver that message specifically for this Black Friday offer so that we attract more clients. And if you're not taking notes, I do have a worksheet. So let me know in the comments. I'll just send it to your DM. And again, no email or opt-in required um, for being a part of this group. Anyway, and um, let's see if my tech is working. Give me two seconds. I want to make sure everything is working. All right. If you are live, watching live, send me a hi emoji and uh, send me a hey, send me an emoji. If you're watching the replay, um, comment below hashtag replay and before I start let me introduce myself if we haven't met yet karma hunter brand mentor and a conversion strategist I help online coaches and entrepreneurs create their offer and plan their launches with evergreen systems and strategies so that they can scale without social media burnout and today we're talking about promoting our Black Friday offer the most profitable way let me first start by saying that let me tell you what you're not gonna do okay what you're not going to do is create this offer and then um, a week before Black Friday start posting and say, hey, here's what I have and go on and buy it or book me and stuff. That's literally selling. You can't, I mean, go on and do it if you want to, obviously, but it's not going to get you the results that you want. So that's why you promote first and then you sell. You build that demand first, right? I mean, if you said, okay, here, take this and it's $10 and buy it. Am I going to buy it if I don't know what it is or how it's going to help me? What is it? Like memory card, right? First, I got to know what it is, uh, what a memory card does and how I can benefit from it and how to use it and things like this so that I think that it's valuable enough for me to pay no matter how much it is. And that's why it's important that you campaign before you launch your offer, before you start selling your offer, right? In PR school, that's what they taught us, campaigning, right? So this is a small campaign, and we have six weeks. Six weeks is plenty of time for you to be able to promote your offer, offer and um, create that desire and build that demand so that you sell more when it's, you know, when it's time to sell more. And let me know if you have any questions. I'm going to check it from my phone, hopefully, if my phone doesn't turn off on me. Let me put it right here. Okay. So let's start. What are we going to say when it comes to our offer? And I'm going to give you an example so that you can, you can see it with, um, with real examples. This is an example from one of my clients who is a social media manager. And she decided that her... Black Friday offer is going to be about uh, images, social media images, because as a social media manager, now think about yesterday's, what we talked about yesterday, her program, well, her package in this case, I guess, includes images, captions, platforms, features, um, hashtags, uh, maybe DMs, engage with different aspects to it, right? So she decided she'll go with the images. That's going to be her offer, what her offer is going to be about. So when we 
finally decided on that she's gonna have it offer about images now we're creating content and how to talk about it because if you don't do this right if you sit down and say okay my offer is about creating images so let me go ahead and post content obviously you can't come up with stuff. all I'm gonna think about is well if it was me I'm gonna think about how to create images so that you can attract your clients how to create images well you can't keep doing the same thing and obviously and this is sometimes what's holding you back when it comes to not pushing content out because you really can't come up with something and in this case we gotta make sure we are coming up with content ideas that attracts the clients but the quality content ideas right so that when we're ready to actually post the content we're ready and we don't have to think about what are we gonna say and okay so we said her offer is about images i want you to do this if you already decided on your offer your black friday offer think of three mistakes your ideal client is making your target audience is making about this specific offer like in her case when i asked her three mistakes she gave me three mistakes about images specifically not about not being consistent not consistently posting on social media not about um, dms not about captions but about images so here if you look at it this is the metrics uh, matrix that we do we create so the first mistake she said they didn't have compelling images all right you client they were inconsistent with her with their images not inconsistent with posting on social media and such images in this case right so that's because you need to remember that guys i know when you are campaigning something when you're in the launch campaign you your mind is going all over the place and thinking about everything that you talk about in general in this case for these six weeks we got to talk about this offer specifically and what goes into this offer so um the second i mean third <laughs> can't count third mistake or read third mistake is uh having clumsy images so she said they post to different platforms and their heads cut off or, or the captions are cut off in the images and it looks distracted uh it distracts people and it doesn't look professional there's hair in my eye <laughs> and such so once you come up with these three mistakes next thing you got to think of what is this costing them right and in this column so think about three things it's costing them making this specific mistake again now you you see i branched it out right one two three one two three so i'm gonna go with the example in the um bottom here so about the mistake that they have clumsy images cut off images and things what is the cost of them well their captions are cut off their their audience can't read it and it doesn't attract them their head cut off it doesn't look professional it's distracting their audience so these are the three things that it's costing them basically they can't attract the clients in the end right but we are kind of making it more specific we don't want we don't want to just say oh you can't attract your clients for every single thing I mean yeah that's the end result but what is that one specific step in between that is not attracting the clients right so in this case it's the captions cut off head cut off unprofessional distracting so the next thing is the remedy what is to remedy this right how can they not miss make this mistake how can we remedy this um so she she said again three things they got to learn the concept of creating images uh and they got to know the dimensions of the platforms or the images they need to create and how it goes. And they got to have a process and a system to resize, she said, right? So these are the things that she's uh, saying that, suggesting that if you do these things, then you won't make this mistake and it won't cost you these things, okay? So when we're talking about remedy, again, we're talking about the specific mistake about our specific offer. Now, what's gonna make it or break it is this column right here. And I wanna break this down for you guys. This is the reason. Why are they making this mistake? But here are 
there are, in most cases, four reasons why they're making this mistake, right? They either don't understand that this is a mistake, so they don't even know that they're making this mistake yet. They don't understand that they need to fix this mistake, right? They maybe don't see the value. They, they may be like, oh, okay, it may be a mistake, but uh, who cares? Um, they may not understand that there are tools to fix this problem. And they may not understand that they, there are systems to use these tools with or processes with, right? So that it's, it's going to be most of the time why, unless it's the, I mean, when it comes down to even time and money, it comes down to the value. But these are the reasons why they won't see the value in the offer, right? So regardless, it's the time or the money or commitment, whatever it is, it's because they don't see the value and these are the reasons why they don't see the value. So in her case, what do we do? We looked at these. So what are the reasons why her audience is making these mistakes? And we talked about, can you read these? I hope you can. So we talked about in her case, they don't know that this is happening. She's saying that in her case, the, um, her audience are mom bloggers and she's saying they're creating one image for their blog feature post uh, f blog feature image and they're just going and posting this image on any platform any feature of the platform I hope I'm not too loud because I realize I'm kissing the microphone almost <laughs> but um it's a tight space here uh, they don't realize that they are they don't realize that they're posting this one image and it's only one size and then when they post it like it looks weird on the Instagram post it looks weird in the story it looks weird in the Pinterest it looks because it's all cut off everywhere and it doesn't it looks crum clumsy not professional and such so she said she said that they don't know that this is happening so they don't see that they need to fix this and then she said some they don't think they need to fix it because they don't they don't understand why that may even be important and then she said there are tools and processes and that they don't know that there are tools and processes to fix it sometimes they think in her example she told me that it takes her client almost half an hour to an hour to create one image on canva because her clients are more uh, writers not necessarily uh, you know graphic designers or they don't have much, you know, training or knowledge in that. So she said it takes them like 30 minutes to create one image. So they don't see the value in creating a bunch of different images, multiple images for different platforms. But they don't know that they can actually accomplish this very easily. They don't have to recreate all the images because they don't know that you can resize this. There, there are tools for it. There's processes for it. And... And this last step is they, they don't know that they need a system like these probably okay there are tools for it and so in some cases they probably know that there's a tool like canva i hope i won't break the break my setup here anyway um there are tools like canva but they don't see that how this tool can help them if it's taking them half an hour to create one image right so now they need a system to create their blog post image and then being able to resize this by having this process this have, having this system so she breaks it down this way now guys this is where the magic happens because now let's think about it we kept everything all the mistakes that what's costing them the the remedy and the reasons why they're making this mistake we kept them all in literally one subject social media images basically right so now we have so many different actually um, content pieces of content now we can create a one big content if you want to a huge blog or something put all the, these in and then you can kind of segment it and create different um, content but here's what you need to do now thinking about my, my content hooks so to me in my business what helps us the most regarding if it's me creating the content or my assistant or my team creating the content we have a list of hook formulas for content 
and how we utilize this is basically kind of like the skeleton of our content, right? So in this case, I'm trying to find my hooks, <laughs> formulas, I should say. All right, in this case, now what you can do, you can go ahead and create the content. And you can do this in all different combinations, right? Here are a few. So when she was talking about that they, they're not aware, that they don't know that uh, they're making this mistake, that their images are uh, like head cut off, thumbnail cut off because they don't know how to resize it. So she's, she came up with a huge lesson bloggers learn about their social media images too late. And then she breaks it down and talks about, hey, your head is cut off or your thumbnails are cut off. People can't read it. You need to fix it. And another one, why most bloggers are scared to outsource social media creatives. So now here again, it's also objecting this too because now she's, she's saying they don't see the value in spending that money to outsource it. But through this piece of content, she's going to explain what is making these mistakes costing them because they're not outsourcing, right? And then another idea she came up with from by utilizing these formulas, how to create compelling social media images in five minutes, even if you're not a graphic designer. Again, you see here, it's, it's basically, um, a, it's basically helping them break that objection, right? And that of uh, overcome that objection of, um, Hey, I'm not a graphic designer. It's taken me a half an hour to create one image. I'm not going to create tens and towns, thousands of images, right? And then uh, stop the scroll every time you post on social media by using this trick. And then this one, she's going to show maybe how to resize it in an easy way. And surprise and secrets to resizing images without a cutoff head. <laughs> Obviously, this is what we're talking about. So it's like, it's kind of funny too. In this case, it's more compelling as well when it makes when you make it funny. But so, okay, this is how you stay within the pillars that you need to talk about about this specific offer, right? And this way, you can create this buyer's journey and cre that create that desire so it builds up demand. And when you're ready to sell, when you're ready to make the offer, you sell the most, you convert higher, right? That's that's the whole point. So think about the, these six weeks for your Black Friday offer as your campaign period, right? And you got to talk about these things. And if you have a system where you know what to talk about every day, then you're going to post more and you're going to engage more. You're going to be, become more visible. So once people see that, Oh, this girl is talking about these, um, you know, the, the social media images and everything. They're, they'll see, they'll know what you're talking about. And now this is going to create demand because now also you're talking about their objections, their mistakes they're making. And they're like, oh, yeah, that's happening to me. And honestly, that's something we came up with from my examples. I was doing that when I first started because I was so kind of lazy and I wasn't resizing anything and I wasn't paying attention to the sizes of the things and it was like all over the place looking crazy. So, um, anyway, not going back to that example again, but that's how you create that desire. That's how you make people go, oh, that's what I'm doing. Oh, yeah. Oh, I should do that, right? Those type of moments. And you make it relevant to your Black Friday offer that way. Tomorrow, we're going to talk about how we're going to sell our Black Friday offer the most profitable way. And, oh, by the way, like I said, if you want the worksheet for what I just told you about the metrics and the, and the questions and everything, uh, let me know in the comments below. I'll send you a DM. I'll send the worksheet in your DM. And like I said, tomorrow, we're going to talk, not tomorrow, tomorrow is Saturday. Monday, we're going to talk about how we're going to sell our Black Friday offer. And I'm going to give you different strategies uh, of selling the offer so that you can make the most revenue out of it. Any questions, let me know in the comments or send me a DM, whichever. And uh, yeah, 
I'll see you on Monday. Take care.